Driving back in the van from a showroom install, I turned to one of my staff and said, I'd love to kit out a showroom with everything from charity. What a challenge that would be. I then approached Prospect Homes and Riverside um, to see whether or not they would be interested in letting us actually do that for them. So very luckily for us, um, Prospect Homes and Riverside trusted us to get on with it basically and come up with a, a scheme to um, install a show home with everything that is pre-loved. So I then contacted um, the British Heart Foundation and they were really excited about it. They put me in touch with um, their regional manager for the North West and Along the process, basically, we shopped with two or three different stores, um, working with the store managers, and they helped us to find the items that we wanted. And we found some really amazing pieces, and we found items that were really cost-effective. But what I was really, um, really pleased about is actually how cost-effective this has been along the way. We've managed to fit out a three bedroomed house with the materials for three and a half thousand pounds. Normally when you do a show home, it's at least twice, if not three times the price by buying new. So yes, there's been quite a lot of work. We've done a lot of painting and a lot of sanding and a lot of searching. It's allowed us to prove that, you know, you can actually fit out your home really cost effectively and it really looks great at the same time. The response we had from the British Heart Foundation was amazing. This is Lisa, the store manager of the Birkenhead store that's kindly helped us for the British Heart Foundation. Hi, we've been really happy to work with Stanza Style. They've been very kindly purchasing furniture off us, which has been really great. Um, that money goes towards hard research, as we've discussed before. And Prospect and Riverside have also been very kindly to work with Stanza Style and donating items to us as well. So it's been great for us. From here, we were given exclusive access to their forthcoming flagship store in Birkenhead. We had such a great time rummaging between all sorts of furniture in their big warehouse. What we couldn't believe is how much furniture they had. I visited a second-hand furniture store in Liverpool called Gasp. I'd been recommended to go and see what they had and I was not disappointed. The great thing was that I found six mid-century dining chairs at £20 each that were perfect for the dining table we'd bought from the British Art Foundation. I also found an unloved mid-century armchair for £45 that I wanted for the lounge. The upholstery hadn't been changed since the 70s. I knew what we could do with this to bring it back to life. We couldn't wait to get it in the van and back to base so that we could get started. So we had a great day yesterday. We managed to find lots of key pieces that are all mid-century. Um, lovely little side tables, a beautiful open wardrobe um, and a fantastic dining table which we're going to turn into something amazing and one of the greatest finds was um, a proper mid-century coffee table and we can upcycle that and make that look completely different even down to a vintage radio and some pictures and mirrors that we're going to repurpose so really great we also went to a couple of charity shops and bought some clothing which we're going to change into um, cushions and a pair of curtains we're going to die hopefully so yes it's a good start um, lots to do um, but we're really excited back in our warehouse we embarked on the task of upcycling the furniture we sanded the mid-century dining table and primed the legs ready for painting black we then masked off a chest of drawers ready for painting a feature strip of paint the dining chair seat pads were also removed ready for reupholstering one of our favourite pieces was the mid-century coffee table, complete with its original glass top. This was primed, ready to be painted black, with a teal feature edge. So we're here upcycling the dining chairs, the coffee table has been painted black, even the nester tables have already been upcycled, and we are in the middle of upcycling a bureau and a funky chest of drawers. So rather than letting this headboard go to the skip, we have painted it and uh, we have um, filled it with rattan and we're just in the process of adding some beading around the edge just to tidy it up. 
We purchased two mid-century bedside tables. They looked so old-fashioned, but with some TLC, priming in white Zinza paint and painting in black Zinza paint, together with some cane webbing fitting into the centre panel and new shiny brass handles, the bed size look completely different and just like something you can buy at the moment on the internet, all for just £25 each. So we've taken some mid-century teak dining chairs, we've given it a coat with the primer and also with the all coat and then we've reupholstered the chairs in some um, vintage fabric we found on an auction website and we've just then uh, given it some detail with some Dulux um, eggshell on the bottom. We designed the girls' bedroom with a water mermaid theme. Using a wallpaper that we found on an auction site, this inspired us to take a little bedside we've bought from the British Heart Foundation and paint it white. And then we practiced with dripping paint down the front of the drawers and door. The paint we loved so much, we even painted the base of a little lamp to go with the theme. 40 star wardrobe that we'd bought from the Chester store for just £40 was painted white with a bottom section painted in our till paint to the same height as the sideboard so they both matched around the room. I've never painted so much blooming furniture in all my life. Um, look at the things that we're doing and God look at this paint, it's so gorgeous. It's going in the kids bedroom with that headboard which is uh, pretty amazing and I've even dyed some white curtains that we found in a charity shop which is uh, going great guns. And look at all of this. Looks a bit black at the minute. It won't um, completely look black, but uh, we've got all sorts of bits of furniture that we've been changing. One website we enjoyed going through was the British Heart Foundation's eBay store. It's full of pre-loved donated items and some really great pieces. We're just on our way to Bishop's Auckland's um, where we're going to do a site visit for the plot that we're going to be styling. Very excited to see what it's like and how everything's going to fit um, and measure the windows so that we can get ready to install it. The Riverside Group is one of the leading registered providers of social housing in the UK, offering affordable housing and support to people of all ages and circumstances. Their aim is to transform lives and revitalise neighbourhoods, so this is why we were excited to be showcasing this unique show home for them. We can demonstrate that you can fully furnish your home cost-effectively in a design-led style. We're really excited to show you the lounge. So our inspiration was um, a style of the mid-century styling because it's very on trend at the moment. So what we did, if I take you in, you'll see that what we've done is we've taken some vintage mid-century pieces. So for example, the sideboard, which is beautiful, um, and all we've actually done to this sideboard, we bought it for 40 pounds from the British Heart Foundation. All we've done is literally painted the door black, painted the bottom frame black, and then added a bit of a funky um, teal strip on the door and onto one of the legs. And then we just accessorized it with some pieces that we found along the way, um, even down to the stag, which we found on an auction site, which again is very on trend, it's mid-century, and we just painted it black. It's actually teak underneath. Um, I found a armchair in a second-hand store um, in Liverpool. This looked awful when I found it. Um, it was a teak uh, mid-century chair. The upholstery was awful. It hadn't actually ever been reupholstered, so it was stinky, ripped, all sorts of things. So what we did was just stripped the whole thing completely back, and um, we've reupholstered the frame and put a couple of new cushion pads on it with some fabric that we've managed to find fairly cheaply. Um, and then all we've done is painted the frame black, and we've added, if you look, another couple of little bit of feature pieces of teal on there just to make it a little bit funky. The cushions, which if I show you, will, um, that you've got on the sofas, all of these cushions have been made out of clothing we've bought from a charity shop. So we've been spending one pound, two pounds, four pounds on some, basically some dresses and some tops, and we've made cushions out of this fabric. The sofas, again from the British Heart Foundation, we've got two sofas here. One of them is a Marks and Spencer sofa, so really good quality, in really good condition. Both of these sofas we managed to buy for £150, which is miles cheaper than you would get from any online store or any shop. And they were in really good condition. A couple of marks on them which we easily wiped off and they're really comfortable. We took 
a little nest tables, which um, again are mid-century. And the upside we've done for these, really simple, we've literally painted the edges black, um, cleaned them up a little bit, and then just put our little signature feature strip of paint on there. Even the lamp we managed to find in British Art Foundation, and this was about four pounds. Um, the cable was a bit broken, so we got that fixed. We had a shade actually knocking around that was again unloved, so we just added a shade to it, and it looks great. Even this little picture frame in the British Art Foundation was 50 pence, and so all we did was painted it black and put a little print inside it. And then the coffee table, which we absolutely love, you'll see that this is an original mid-century coffee table. Um, it's antique, it's very on trend at the moment, and all we've simply done is painted it black, again, and put our little signature teal strip around the bottom edge. It's got its original glass, and it's completely changed how it looked. And then one of our big triumphs is this floor lamp. So the floor lamp, was in the warehouse at the British Art Foundation. They actually gave this to us because it was it was literally not working. It had no bulb housing, no cabling, and it was scratched, dented, all sorts of things. So all we did, I sent it to a local electrical supplier who rewired it for us, and we sanded this down. It's actually a Habitat floor lamp um, from a few years ago. It was purple. We sanded it down, and then all we've done is sprayed this black, and we've added a new shade on the top and you'll see it looks absolutely beautiful now. Um, and you'll see that this lounge has got a very mid-century on trend feel. The last thing we did was we were again, we were really um, adamant that we didn't want to buy new curtains. So we went on an auction site and we managed to find second-hand mid-century sort of 1970s curtains. We've had to repurpose them a little bit um, and you'll see how well they match in with the scheme. They look really neutral, very simple, and actually work really well for the group. We're really excited to show you the kitchen diner. We love this table chair set. So when we were in the warehouse in the British Art Foundation, we found this original mid-century dining table. Um, it's actually a very sought after piece at the moment, and we managed to, to get it from them for about 50 pounds. And what we did was, is we've sanded the top just to take off the sort of orangey texture of the teak. And then all we've done actually is painted the frame a bit black, so it's become a very on-trend piece of furniture. Then from a second-hand shop that I went to in Liverpool, we found these dining chairs, which I absolutely adore. And they were pretty ugly looking um, when I found them. They had a black vinyl um, seat pad on them, so they weren't particularly very exciting to look at. And all we've done is we found some vintage fabric on an auction site for £10, and it was just enough to cover for the chairs. So we've recovered the chairs. Again, it's in our colour scheme, so it's allowed us to match everything together. And then what Lisa and I have done is we've painted the frames of these completely black and they're completely transformed to how they looked originally. And what's really lovely, even though we didn't buy them together, how nice they fit together. Then what we did um, was on an auction site, uh, we went looking for some second-hand crockery because so we didn't want to buy new. So we actually found some original 60s, 70s vintage crockery. Um, wasn't particularly expensive, but we were managed to find a whole set which we were really pleased about. And it's even got some casserole dishes to match. And so we've used that along with some fabric that we've made some napkins out of. And even the candlestick that we've got in the middle, that was in um, one of the charity shops, it was about two pounds. Um, add some dinner candles to it and it looks really fabulous. And then we painted um, a teal paint on the back wall. The mirror was um, again, in the charity shop, it was a few pounds. All we've done to this, it's grey, we've just painted it black and it's got that retro feel about it, which is really great. The clock was second hand, again on an au auction site, and um, it wasn't big enough really for what we wanted. So, what we've done is one of my designers came up with a great idea of spray painting some wooden skewers. 
and actually sticking them to the back of the clock. And what that's done is made it look much, much bigger. So it's a really cool transformation to how that looks. In the corner, we love this lamp. So this lamp was being sold for £8.50 on an auction site. It was orange, it's a Jasper Conran lamp, and what was really good is that the person selling it was actually donating the money to Water Aid. So when we were buying some of the items on the auction sites, we were trying to find pieces where money was going to charity. And all we've done with this is sprayed it black and sprayed the inside of the shade in gold to keep in our scheme. And it's like new, and it looks absolutely fabulous. On the wall, you'll see that we've got some vintage plates, which again, we've got off from an auction site. Very cost effective, just a you know, couple of pounds each. Um, and that's created some artwork. And so you'll see it's a really modern, but on trend dining area. So let me show you bedroom two. So bedroom two was designed for either um, the theory of a guest room or a teenager's room. So what we did was, is we painted some feature strips of paint on the back wall. These were inspired by the bedding that we were donated um, for free. So the bedding had this strip in it, the mustard, which goes throughout the scheme anywhere in the show home. Um, and along with that bedding, they donated a bed that matched with it. So we were really lucky to receive this actually. Um, what we then did is we went to a charity shop and found some clothing, which we've done with all of our cushions. And we've actually made cushions out of people's clothing. And you'll see there's a Hackett, a Hackett um, uh, polo shirt that we've been able to create little cushions out of. Uh, one of the good things and triumphs that we've been pleased about are these lamps. So these lamps were really, really awful silver little lamps hidden in a, um, a carrier bag inside the warehouse of the British Heart Foundation that had awful little angled shades on them that were broken and ripped and all sorts of things. And all we've really simply done is taken these two little lamps, sprayed them black, and then we bought two little Hessian, quite cost effective Hessian shades, and look how different and contemporary they look now. And then what we've done with the furniture below, so what Lisa managed to do is to take this little bedside, which is actually a sewing box, it's really beautiful inside, and all we've done actually is sanded down the teak area and varnished it, and then painted the outer edges on the top black, and you'll see how well that matches in. And you'll see on the other side of the bed, there's a chest of drawers that we purchased. Again, it was 30 pounds, um, somebody was selling it, so to stop it going into landfill. And all we've done is painted the handles black and put a feature strip of black paint through the furniture, which again matches in with the style of the room. There's the lamp that we've added to it. And we did actually have a lovely cane um, mirror that we've put above it. And then you'll see behind, if I come in front, behind the door, we absolutely love this piece of furniture. We found it for 35 pounds in the British Heart Foundation in the shop. It's an original mid-century clothes rail. And what we've done is utilised it as a occasional wardrobe, as if it was a guest room. It's a very untrained thing at the moment, having open wardrobes. But we've actually bought a load of clothes, for, again, from the charity shop, including the shoes, so that we can accessorise it accordingly. And we think it really looks lovely. And all we've done to it is painted the rails at the bottom black. So a lovely room, really nice and straightforward, but it's got a real on-trend feel about it. So we're really excited to show you the master bedroom. This is a complete transformation. So I'll take you in, you'll see what we've done. So Lisa, my co-contributor for the project, worked on this headboard. So the headboard was a white shutter, sort of New England style headboard that was destined for the skip. Had a couple of little dinks in it, which we've um, filled in and sanded down. And then all we've done is we've painted it black, where the slats were in the panels that were white, we've actually filled those in with plywood and then we've stuck this very on trend cane webbing to the panel, which you see quite a lot of furniture being sold at the moment online because it's become a very trendy style of furniture. So we've put the cane webbing into the panels and then edged them with a little bit of beading. A very cost effective solution. The only actual thing we really needed to purchase was the cane webbing, which you can buy by the meter for about 10 pounds a meter. 
Um, and then what we've done is um, managed to find some wallpaper on an auction site. Um, there was a couple of rolls left over that somebody was selling. We were so lucky to find this wallpaper because it matches in so well. So it was really the wallpaper that pulled the scheme together and gave us the inspiration. So what we've then done is um, took some fabric that we found again, it was second hand, somebody was selling on an auction site, a metre of this fabric and we've had some cushions made from it. Somebody donated us this black and gold cushion which works in really well and even this double bedding we found in a charity shop for three pounds. Great lovely quality, in really good condition and clean and fresh um, and it works really well. And then what we'll, we've done, if you go and look up the bedside, these are a massive transformation. So what Lisa has done is taken some mid-century bedsides that we purchased. These were £60 for the two, um, so £30 each. And all we've done is painted them black and added some of the same cane webbing inside the central panel that was already on the, the bedside and then changed the handle with a gold geometric um, handle and they look completely different and they match in really well with the headboard and then if you zoom into the um, the lamp you'll see that we've taken what was actually two really rough looking purple lamps that were glass and all we've done one of them is broken all we've done is spray them gold we had them fixed and then we found two really cost-effective black shades, which we've then been able to completely change the look of how the lamp works. And it all ties in really lovely. If you go onto the window, you'll see that we've got a fabric here that we've utilised. Now, for all the window treatments, what we didn't want to do is to buy new. So what we did was we found some original um, 1970s um, curtains, um, again, mid-century, and we've repurposed the fabric so these were really cheap on an auction site. So we've repurposed it and made them into a Roman blind. Again, it matches into this scheme really well. And then we've taken a piece of furniture we bought from the British Heart Foundation for 35 pounds. This is a bureau. You can see actually on the inside, it still is a bureau. Um, so somebody could use it as a desk. But what we've done is we've painted it black again and it already had this insert the same as the bedside. So we put the cane webbing on the panel and changed the handles to the same geometric gold handle. And it's completely changed how it looks and it ties in with the scheme really beautifully. Same with the mirror. The mirror was in the British Heart Foundation. It was a fiver. And all we've done actually is taken this, it's got a real retro uh, shape about it. We've taken it and painted it black, put some hangers on the back and it matches in with this style. And you can see sort of the curvatures really, really well. The last piece of furniture that we put in this bedroom is the wardrobe. So the wardrobe, again was a teak wardrobe, I remember this from my childhood. Um, it's a perfect size for somebody as short as me, but basically we painted it black, it was teak, it had the original shelves which is really lovely, but it did have a round, um, pretty ugly um, mirror in it. So what we did was painted it black, We've added the same cane webbing at the back and beaded it around to sort of tidy it up. And then all we've done is put a mirror with a black edge in it, replaced the shelves and addressed it accordingly with a load of accessories. And it looks really great and it matches in with the whole scheme. So it's a really glamorous room for very, very little cost. So we're really pleased to show you the little bedroom, bedroom three. The inspiration actually came from a wallpaper that we found again on an auction site. Um, this was something that somebody didn't want anymore. Now, it's actually a wall panel um, of some sort of dripping water. So it gave us the inspiration of, well, maybe we'll do a mermaid style bedroom. So we bought this very cost effectively on an auction site. Again, we were very lucky to find it. But, so we've had that put on the wall. And then what we did was, is we've taken a teal paint colour and if you look we've actually added this paint colour all the way around the room, all the way up to the wallpaper. So that then gave us the inspiration of taking what actually is a sideboard, again bought from the Sharp Foundation for £30 and we have painted this completely teal and then painted, painted the front uh, door panel white and then what we've done is we've um, made sure that the measurement of the 
paint around the room is at the same level as the furniture. So this is a great little transformation. We've even got these lovely little lights which we've added, which we found, um, just to sort of prep a bit of fun. And then you'll see next to the bed, we have taken a little mid-century teak little bedside, so it was brown, and we painted it white. Um, and then we had a bit of a practice with um, some dripping paint. So we put, put some of the teal paint in a jug and we've literally poured it over the edge and allowed it to run down the front of the bedside and then changed the handles. And you can see it's a completely different type of bit of furniture and completely unique. And that bedside cost us five pounds. What we've then done is um, Along with um, some of the other lamps we found at British Heart Foundation, um, this was literally in a bag and it was a couple of pounds. It's a little touch light and all we've done, it was silver, all we've done is painted that in the same teal paint and then found a mermaid inspired shade um, to go onto it and it just means it's a perfect little lamp for a little girl's bedroom. The curtains we found in a charity shop, they were three pounds. And all we've done with that, they were white, a bit mucky looking. All we've done is wash them and we've dyed them in a teal paint. We have, we've donated a curtain pole um, and it's allowed us then to basically dress this window really prettily. We've even used a necklace as a tie back and you can see how sort of pretty that room looks. And then into the corner, you'll see that we've taken a um, a 1940s wardrobe which was bought again from the British Heart Foundation for about £30 I think and what we've done is we've painted it white completely but then we have measured the same level of paint that's around the room and we've added that to the bottom of the wardrobe so that it matches in all the way so it's got this watery feel in the room and then all we've done is managed to find a few little accessories We've even had cushions made out of made out of little girls' clothing. So we've got some cushions to match in with it. And again, the bedding was sold on a local Facebook page and we got the bedding for three pounds. So it's allowed us to create a room for literally very little cost.